Madden Contest Toastmaster for the Toastmasters. I would like to invite you to open your arms now. Wide open. I know you can see me. How do you feel? Do you feel powerful, joyful, free, hopeful, or negative emotions? In a recent survey that I conducted, 100% of the participants felt hopeful and positive while opening their arms. For me, opening my arms doesn't only make me feel positive and hopeful, but it also symbolizes acceptance, communication, and connection. It breaks down barriers that divide us. Growing up in China, we didn't have a hugging culture. Even though I love hugging now, my father and I shared the first hug on his 60th birthday. I love my father, but I always feel there has been a giant gap between him and me. I also grew up hearing horrible dramas and stories when ex-spouses stepchildren or stepparents were involved. Perhaps you heard some too. Cinderella, Snow White. Last year, I conducted another survey. The participants associated words like ex and stepmother with complicated and evil. 18 years ago, I fell in love with an American man who was 18 years older than me, had three teenage children, spoke a different language, was close friends with his ex-wife. My family and friends in China thought I must have lost my mind. <laughs> in 2007, with a firm belief in the power of love and trust, I moved to Chicago with this man, now my husband. Left my family back in China with extreme concerns. After all, I was moving to the other side of the planet and possibly into endless misery and drama. A few weeks after moving to Chicago, I was invited to an Easter party at my husband's ex-wife's father's house. I was very excited and very grateful, but also unsure, nervous. I didn't know what to expect. What should I say? What should I do? Am I going to be challenged or judged? I felt like I was going on a first date, but with an entire family of four generations. On the day of the party, it was still cold in Chicago in April. After 40 minutes drive, my husband and I arrived at a beautiful house. A vigorous looking older man opened the door with a big smile on his face. As soon as we stepped inside, he gave us each a firm and a warm hug. Inside of the house was spacious, cozy, and fresh, filled with appetizing aromas and warmth and friendly faces. And everyone opened their arms and gave me a warm hug. From how to pronounce my name, Mushan, to What's my first impression of this new country? They made very fun and easy conversations with me. I immediately felt accepted and connected. I had a terrific time. Since that party, I have become part of my husband's ex-wife's family and they have become part of mine. We celebrate major holidays and have annual family vacations together. After 16 years of marriage, my family has never had any 
complications and dramas or evil. Instead, abundant happiness and sincere support and love. I'm not saying you have to marry into a blended family like mine to have a happy life. And I'm also not saying that you need to hug everyone or be hugged by everyone. Although, I do encourage you to open your arms more and hug more for many scientifically proving benefits. But today, most importantly, I urge everyone to open your arms in life, to create a space for communication, to support others, and to break barriers that divide us, bring us closer, and build strong relationships. Even if you are from a long hugging culture, you can keep open arms in mind to remind you to open your mind and heart for others. So, one more time, ladies and gentlemen, one more time, please join me to open your arms to opportunities and to people of all backgrounds. Thank you.